Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help. And if you want to help out a little more, you can head over to my Patreon and try to get yourself a mug, sticker, or tote bag. And I also do Zippo giveaways on my live streams. And link will be in the description. Hey everybody, how you doing? Got a full review for you today and how to fix video on this uh, Zippo Butane insert. Uh, so before we get into the fixing or anything like that, I'll just get into the straight review. This will be the quicker part of the video. Uh, now, I use my Zippo about 50, 60 times a day and I have to fill this every four or five days when I'm using Zippo or Ronson fluid. Didn't really matter uh, which one I used. I, I couldn't get past five days with this for as many times as I light it. And then I have people telling me it lasts them a month and they only use it, you know, five times a day. So it makes sense. Uh, as a full-time user, I can only get five days out of it. My Zippo lasts, you know, two weeks, sometimes two and a half weeks. So this I got to fill up all the time if I'm going to use it as an everyday user. And it doesn't work that great in the wind and strong winds like a Zippo does. It doesn't work good, great in the cold. Unfortunately, it doesn't even seem to light when it's cold. And we're just coming out of... Uh, out of the winter here it's spring in Canada so it's still cold at night and a little warm during the day but still cold and breezy and it's just not really holding up that great for for that reason but that's butane that's not Zippo like that's that's butane right that's just how butane operates uh, so my everyday carry still is always going to be a Zippo with Zippo fluid I can't switch to a butane as everyday carry but uh, for a table lighter for this just sitting around on like one of the lighters I want to showcase for the week at my table uh, it, it works great and it'll last a long time because I don't like using a Zippo and filling with fluid and then leaving it there for a few weeks or a month and it just it doesn't do anything you know what I mean it just it just evaporates and I don't get to use it much so this is gonna help with that like these are good it depends what you're using it for if you're not using it very often get one of these if you use it a lot you use just regular fluid in a Zippo plus Zippos are waterproof. They work when you dump them in water. They work when they're frozen. They work at high altitudes. Like Zippo, Zippo is very reliable. And I need something more reliable, so I always go with the Zippo. So that's pretty much it for the review. It's good and it's bad. But if you don't want to have to fix this, if you came here for the fixing part of the video, the best thing you're going to have to do is buy a high quality butane. It's like thirty dollars. It's like thirty dollars for a bottle this size, but it's worth it. And you're going to get a high efficiency butane. You don't have to do this fix to it that I'm going to show you because I'm just using regular Zippo and Ronson fluid. I have a ton of it because every time I order something from Zippo.ca, I get a free bottle of butane and a free bottle of fluid. So I have quite a bit stocked up. So I have to go through it. I'm not buying the expensive stuff. So this fix is what you're going to need if you don't want to buy the expensive stuff either. So we'll get into that. All you're going to need is a flathead and a regular screwdriver. Okay, so... Now, what you're going to do, you're going to notice there is three screw spots on your Zippo Butane insert. There is two here and one here. The one, this one here, after you take these two out, this one here will pull out the whole thing and that's how you change your battery. But I will have a video on how to change your battery. I'm not going to do it in this video, but it'll be years until until uh, you need to change your battery in here. I have, I, have, I have lighters that are like 10 years old and the battery still... Oh, look, butane's still in there. Uh, battery still works fine. I've never changed that thing. That thing's almost a decade old. So I wouldn't be worrying about the battery, but uh, when that day comes, I will have a video. So you will take it. There's two screws here. They come out nice and easy. Do not force it. There are gentle screws. Uh, you do not want to strip these. Like I do have extras. I just happened to order a set of small screws. I actually have these exact ones, so I would be fine. I don't think you guys would be. Uh, so then this plate comes out. You don't have to worry about which way it comes out because it can only go back in one way. And your Zippo is going to come like this. As you can see, my Zippo will not light up. And I have it on, what does it say? If it's all the way to the right, that's full torque. So I have this thing fully opened up, will not light. Doesn't even sound like butane's coming out. There is butane in it. Uh, my o-ring fell out there's a black o-ring it's right here okay so usually this o-ring when it comes when it comes to you it'll come with the o-ring on top like this like in there in this hole on top of this steel plate so then you gotta you gotta jimmy oh i got a screw stuck so you want to keep all your parts together 
So I got a screw. So I got a full weight. So the problem is now if you're using regular good expensive uh, high refined zero 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 icy iso butane, the most highest quality butane you can get, you do not need to do this trick. But if you're like me and you're cheap, you got to do this trick. So this little piece comes out right. But you gotta it shimmies out. Okay, so eventually you will get this piece out of there, like so. And you will notice that this thing right here stops it from going any farther. It's it stops it from going any farther on either one of those sides. It's a it's an adjustment governor basically right you can only do it so much way so now watch that was max now i can crank it up a little more let's try a little more you don't want to overdo it there see look works fine do a little more and you can get the big torch i do not like the big torch so i will set it back down i want to be able to use the big torch setting though so then what you do is now so now that you have your setting now you put the governor back in where you want it right so now where i have it set to my my big torch that is the max setting now on this thing i've just readjusted everything that is now my max setting i will put everything back in And like I said, it can only go one way, but you can always come back and use this video for reference for anybody who needs it. And then you just put the screws back in. And I have a few more things to say, so don't go anywhere yet when I get these screws back in. You just want to be gentle on these screws. Watch, you're going to notice it stops turning. My screwdriver stops stepping out of it. Now push hard. And give a little quarter turn. You don't want to... You don't want to strip these screws, man, because uh, for you guys, you'll have to order a whole set just to get these stupid tiny things. Uh, they're not. Oh, my God. I just dropped. Okay, I did. I did just drop the screw. Let me go better. All right. So, like I said, nice and gentle. Wait for it to start. Move. See, it's skipping on its own. And pushing hard, quarter turn, done. All you got to do, you don't have to over screw those things. They're just tiny little screws. They're just meant to hold in, hold in that plate. That plate does nothing. This would, this all works with, with or without the plate. So now we got the high torch. But we don't want the high torch setting, right? We want to turn it down. So we just come down a bit, minus, till we get where we want. Even that torch is a little too high for me. I like the... I like to be down here. That's all I need for a torch. All I need. I don't need to be jet and fuel. Uh, for what I use this for, that's perfect. It gets hot right there. Just a nice little torch for what I need it for. Works absolutely perfect. Uh, but like you've seen, I can turn it up and get the big flame whenever I need it. Uh, but this is the perfect adjustment. But now, the thing is too, before you go do any of this too, you might want to try bleeding your tank and things like that. But I can assure you that this... Is designed for a higher butane a higher level lighter butane like it's it, it regular Ronson and Zippo does not work good in this I could not get it to work at all and see you can't set it too low either or the flame won't even work with this stuff sorry I have to go up higher now yeah so you gotta go you gotta go a little big so I'll leave it at that because that'll always work and like I said, I get about five days on that for full-time use though, but I'm not going to be using this full-time. This is going to be my table lighter insert. It'll last me months because I only use it a few times a week. Perfect. That's all I need. Uh, and I'm sick of filling that Zippo every, every week, every two weeks and having to refill it and not even use it. So that is why I got the butane insert. These are not bad. These are good. But you will have to do small adjustments to it, fix them up. It's not a big deal. Uh, you've seen how easy it was. Two screws, O-ring, governor, change it up a little bit. Just turn it up, put the governor back on, and everything's going to work fine. I keep that in my Zippo. It's all good.
But uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Take care. If you got any questions, ask. And remember to bleed them out too before you try this because sometimes it's just a bleeding issue. Uh, but it's not always that. And make sure you're filling this up. Make sure you're filling this up full. I hold my butane on here for a full minute almost. Almost a full minute. Like I will hold it on there a full minute. And when I do, I get, I get good results doing that. If I hold it on any less, my zip will only last like a day or two. So, and if you're noticing that your zippo is only, it, sorry, I keep saying zippo. If your butane insert is only lighting up for like four or five lights and then it won't work again, it seems like you're not u using enough butane. A lot of the times that's air pressure trapped in the tank too. You just bleed it out, hold down the button, try refilling it. And when you're done refilling it, bleed it a little bit, bleed it out a little bit. Let some of the pressure out, should be fine. But I highly recommend this fix. This is probably the best thing you're going to do and uh everyone take care i'm not saying this is a bad lighter but it's just not going to be my everyday carry this is perfect for a person who doesn't use a lighter all the time that's what these are for they're definitely perfect for that i think they are good i think they're a game changer in a lot of ways and i like that zippo's doing this to appeal to a lot of new uh, people and customers and things like that i really do like it but like i said it's not good for an everyday carry for me. I just, I use it too much. The fluid's just way more reliable for what I needed in uh, for outdoors and working and just everyday use. It's the Zippo fluids the way I want to be, but I did want one of these and I'm happy I have one and I do suggest everyone buy one still. So take care everyone. Take, I'll see you in the next one.